152nd Contact Wednesday, November 4, 1981, 6.47 p.m. A thought transmission contact. Quetzal says today, due to the absence of necessary time for a direct contact, I reached you telepathically. The arrival of our Liran and the Gan forces, which take over our tasks on the earth for the time being, makes a lot of work for me, which is why I lack the necessary time for a personal appearance. I call you today because I would still like to confirm before your next meeting my decision, regarding my calculations relating to your monthly contribution finances. I have taken to hand all relevant interests again and have very carefully analyzed them. The results of my investigation showed that the calculated dates are accurate, which is why they should be kept by all group members. In regards to this, I know that you have already drafted a writ list, a copy of which you have wisely made available to me. This list corresponds to my calculations, and it was correctly made by you. Every group member should think about these calculations and then act, for it is of necessity. Furthermore, I have again thought about the further employment of various group members because this employment is still repeatedly unsatisfactory. So far, I have not yet found a solution for this because these are more complex issues to be handled than the thought at first suggests. Nevertheless, as for Thomas, I have reached the same result as before, so I'll just confirm what I have planned as an arrangement for him. In the future, he has to carry out two full night watches each month, the ones from midnight until the break of dawn. In addition, he should still be given another half night watch to strike a balance with the other night watching activities. Both full night watches should be completed by him in each case on the nights of the first and third Saturday to Sunday, while the remaining half night watch takes place by arrangement. Furthermore, it is to be said to Thomas that he has to do unpleasant things in order to be corrected in his duty. However, it is unnecessary for me to explain further details because he knows enough about this. Otherwise, it is still to be said that the progress and success of the group in all interests has continued well in recent weeks. However, much more attention must still be paid to the fact that the given ordinal rules are actually kept. Occasionally, trends still exist with the individual group members not to follow the ordinal rules and to create offenses against them as well as exceptions. However, this may not appear, but it must be corrected in every respect. Now, my friend, I would like to inform you that all of our replacements have arrived and that I have already given the first instructions and tasks, so in a very short time, I will find enough room for me personally to entertain you face to face. From everyone, I am to convey to you lots of love, and also to all group members. They are all happy, and so are we, that now, everything with you can still be steered on the right track and that the initial success has already become apparent. This statement also lies in my own personal sense. And because this is so, I would now also like the group members to understand that we are also again ready to carry out some demonstrations in the next year or year after the next which should be specifically for the group members and where films and photographs may be made, as this was formerly the case, before the unpleasantness developed. However, this promise only applies if the general efforts continue further and all regulatory requirements are met which refers to the study of the teachings as well as to the meditation exercise which, unfortunately, wasn't always kept and was entirely omitted by a group member, which must now be most urgently remedied by him. Those are the concerns that I had to explain to you today and which should still be included in your clarifications in your next meeting. Now, until the next personal meeting, my friend, until we meet again. Information from Billy to the whole core group. Quetzal explains the following Elsie complains constantly about her bad financial situation and is the only member of the group to do so. But the fact is that she maneuvers herself into this bad financial situation, which she does not want to realize with all of her often stated reasons. In particular, she does not want to realize that she can bring in the necessary financial means for her own private interests and for group interests just by way of adopting steady work, which she performs five days a week. 
It is now imperative that the group members can make Elsie understand that she must give up her temporary work and finally search for and receive full employment, according to reason. Nevertheless, if she should not do this, in spite of the present need to do so, then she should stop complaining about her badly indebted financial situation in the future, and in addition, which should otherwise be expected, she should fulfill her financial obligation to the mission and to the group without constantly complaining as the only group member and falling behind with the obligations. Internal Contribution Report This monthly contribution is to be performed during the next 12 months of the coming year 1982, thus, from January 1982 up to and including December 1982, after which this contribution can then be reduced, according to report. Louis has promised Benedict that he will take over a full month's contribution in January 1982, within the scope of the principal payments. According to Quetzal, in accordance with my proposal that I made to him, this monthly contribution can and should be integrated into the amount of the principal payments, so this, instead of upward drops, the following will also pay thus, starting from January 1982. Elsie amount hidden from public viewing Jacobus amount hidden from public viewing Madeline amount hidden from public viewing Benedict amount hidden from public viewing Engelbert slash Maria amount hidden from public viewing Louis amount hidden from public viewing. Then, with the same six six principal contributors, the same monthly contributions starting from January 1983 move invariably to a lower contribution over four years, after which they are then settled until the debts are paid. Monthly contributions of the remaining group members. For this, I submitted my proposals to Quetzal, but he did not accept these, after which he raised the contributions of all with the explanation that these contributions must be made in a steady form and that these are calculated in such a way that they can actually be paid by an individual contributor. An evasion and non-payment cannot come into question, as Quetzal says. To this end the following. The Swiss Civil Code states under Article 71, 2 to pay contributions as follows. The contributions of the members are determined by the statutes. As long as there is no such appointment, the members have to carry out the necessary contributions equally for the pursuit of the association's purpose and for the covering of the association's debts. Nevertheless, according to Article 62, 3, since June 17, 1978, the Free Community of Interests has been an established association in the form of a legal person and is considered to be a simple society, according to which legislation is arranged, in spite of what they all are in Switzerland. If we now wanted to go exactly by the law, without the legally alterable contributions of the group members, then according to the current expenditures and the debts of FIGU, every single member is obliged to perform a somewhat higher monthly contribution and this could not be reduced with double income married couples, so these would, thus, have to perform together a double monthly contribution. By our statutes and ordinances, we can now determine contributions in such a way that this legal obligation does not apply and, thus, in the future, apply the approaches that Quetzal has established, with the explanation that these contributions can be really paid by the group members according to his overview, etc. If the entire amount needed comes in, even if others are still working, then their contributions can be integrated on the other hand into the principal payments, thus reducing their contributions. And the more individual group members voluntarily increase their monthly contributions, the more they can pay reduced contributions, which are actually rather large amounts. A little group sense and a sense of togetherness would only be beneficial here. So says Quetzal. The incidental expenses in addition to the fixed payments per 1982 and every month of this year, will be calculated by Quetzal. This amount is for repairs, new acquisitions, mission work, materials, etc. and will be gathered and provided by small payments. The End